सो हेलो एवरी वन सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डील विथ सम लाइक स्टडे वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट पैकेजेज मॉड्यूल्स एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू जस्ट सिंपली डिवाइज दैट पार्ट ऑफ पैकेजेज एंड मॉड्यूल्स एंड देन वी विल कंटिन्यू विथ स्क्रिप्टिंग पार्ट एंड इन द लास्ट ऑफ सेशन वी विल आई एल जस्ट शो यू द इंस्टॉलेसन स्टेप्स ऑफ पाईचाम सो बेसिकली इन टोमोरो सेशन फॉर द प्रोजेक्ट पर्पज वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दैट we are going to use that pycharm software itself so now we are going to just continue with packages part so what is package yeah yesterday we have continued with package sub package how we can use package basically how we can uh, use the package in our program so <clears throat> first we are going to deal with package part so what is package package so basically package are just like a directory Uh, basically it contains different types of sub package and different types of sub modules it is just like a container for modules and sub packages basically each type of package contains dot init file dot init basically all the package contain this file of python basically it is an empty like this is the <coughs> format of a package this one then this yeah and then simply this so basically how we can understand that how we have uh, like what are the purpose of drawing this diagram so basically this part this one part is called package and these two are sub packages of this single package these two are sub packages these are sub packages of that package over here sub package and this is the client side basically <clears throat> we are accessing the data from that client side like this is a client who is accessing data from all this um, sub package this is package and with this help with the help of this sub package the, all the data will be stored in either in this package and uh, or the in this part of the packages so basically here we are going to uh, from where we are going to collect the data this is the client who is going to like simply uh, store like use the data from that sub package so this this is the basically basic use of package now we will start over here for scripting part so basically what is scripting so today's topic is scripting here we are going to understand what is scripting scripting this is the main topic so basically scripting is used for automation uh, it requires uh, uh, like uh, if uh, we are using like some another language so in that condition it is going to be more in uh, like intensive so we are using python for scripting because uh, like in like if uh, we are continuing with java part then java needs to compile program before running like if we have to run a program in java then first we have to compile that program then we are able to run it but in python we can simply uh, like uh, run the uh, like compile the program we doesn't need any running process over here so that is the best thing for scripting so we will uh, we are going to use python for scripting purpose so basically what is the use of scripting how we can use it so it is used for automation it is used for automation the second one is <coughs> it is less intensive like uh, python is uh, like a scripting language is less intensive so we will use python because for scripting we live, uh, we need a less code intensive language so we will use python so it is less code intensive and the third thing is like it doesn't require any compilation step it is simply uh, we can simply used it uh, it doesn't need to like compile first we are going to compile it then we are going to run it uh, it doesn't take so much time and so much processes that's why we are using python for scripting purpose we can simply say that it doesn't need 
or required compilation step compilation steps so that is the thing which we will do in scripting so <clears throat> let's understand what are the some uh, basic parts of scripting like uh, what are the some basic libraries which we are going to understand in that scripting part so the first library which we are going to use over here is os library so <clears throat> first we will see an example like i have just de uh, described an example over here that uh, if we uh, like we are going to prefer java for scripting then what is the thing which we have to do java needs compilation java needs compilation before running so if we have to run a program in java so we need to compile that program and in python or php we can say that in python or php both python and php are scripting language python or php it doesn't need that compilation process it doesn't need compilation process we don't need to compile while programming in this thing like we can simply run we can simply run the programs in uh, like python and php so that is the best thing for scripting language so the another thing is uh, how we can use libraries so what are the uh, like first we have said that first we are going to use os library so let's use that os library so simply we are going to import os and then we will create a function over here and with the help of that function we will simply create a variable and the variable will simply give us a current directory like the uh, it shows the whole path of the directory in which we are working like if i am working on a uh, any folder and uh, in that folder there is a some file where i am working on so it is going to show us that folder like the whole path of the folder how we uh, uh, like uh, c and then in c uh, drive where is the folder in which folder we are working on which file so that is the thing which we are going to do with the help of that os library so first we are going to see os library so what are the like codes or something which we are going to use in that so basically in os library first we are going to simply import os this is a module we have to import that first we are going to import os module and after that we will simply create a function over here we are simply going to define a function now wait for a second yeah so simply i am going to define <coughs> here a function define a function name like from where we are going to work so we are simply going to create a function like current directory because uh, i want to print the current directory the path of current directory in which i am working so simply i am going to write here current directory yeah that's all <clears throat> now we are simply going to create a variable which is going to give up uh, like uh, direct us to that that directory part so simply i am going to create a variable over here like i am going to create a variable cwd now with the help of that imported package we will simply get the directory over here get current working directory and now simply i am going to print that directory so <clears throat> that is the step for printing uh, like if i am working on any directory uh, like any program uh, like i am working on a project and i want to know the current uh, like process uh, like current step where i am working on so with the help of this program i am able to get the uh, current directory in which i am working first we have to simply import os after importing simply i am going to create a function over here simply i am going to create a function create a function simply i am going to create a function over here after that what is the thing which we have to do simply i am going to create a variable a variable cwd is created create variable 
simply i have created a variable and with the help of that os i have just given the path where like uh, from where we have to extract like uh, check the file so simply i have given that part and after that simply we have printed now i am going to call the defined variable like the function which we have created i have defined the variable over here i have created a function variable and i have defined that uh, variable over here and now i am going to simply call that function which we have created so simply i am going to call current directory current directory and let's run the program now it is going to give us the exact location of program in which i am working on so that is the first thing which with, with the help of os library i am going to see this part now the another thing is if i want to like uh, <coughs> add some file if i want to add some file then we can simply add the like um, with the help of that absolute path we can abs path of in python uh, from the python module we will we will simply add some file in the that part so if uh, like uh, i want to use that uh, time module the first module we have used over here is os this is the first os library which we have used uh, let's say the another library which uh, we are going to see is time module this is our another library time module so what is the use of that module how we can use that module so i'll just explain that module itself so basically uh, if i want to get the current time like uh, for getting a proper time format we can use that module so at that uh, for that what we have to do so basically uh, we will simply import time the first step is importing time if i want to get the exact time then simply i have to import time over here so i am going to import time import time after that what is the step uh, what is the next step so next step is i am going to create a variable for like uh, <coughs> calling the time so simply i am going to create a variable uh, let's see epic equals to time dot time yeah now simply i am going to print that epic print that uh, epic now <clears throat> if i want a proper uh, time in local uh, format like proper format in the format in which we are working on currently so if i want the time in that format so for that what i have to do so for printing in that format simply i have to use local time so i have to, uh, i need a local format over here like the current time is uh, this uh, like 8 18 so if i want that time so i need to Im like uh, Im use that local format over here so simply i am going to print local format print local time local time so basically that local time is used basically here the local time it is used it is used for getting proper format getting proper format that is the use of that local time with the help of that local time we can simply <coughs> get the proper format of time we can simply get the proper format uh, that this is that uh, like uh, this is the proper format of time which i am going to get in hours or second like as so with the help of time module we can do this thing now <coughs> if uh, i want to send a mail i need to send a mail then with the help of python how can i send a mail with the help of smtp module simple mail transfer protocol with the help of this smtp module we can simply send a mail to anyone with the help of python so how can we do that let's uh, see what is the thing what is the pro process of that using smtp module so here i am going to <coughs> use wait for a second i am just simply working on smtp module smtp module so how can we use that smtp module how can we send a mail to anyone with the help of python 
सो बेसिकली दिस मॉड्यूल इज यूज फॉर मेल ट्रांसफर बेसिकली द यूज ऑफ दैट मॉड्यूल इज ट्रांसफरिंग मेल यूज फॉर मेल ट्रांसफर यूज फॉर ई मेल ट्रांसफर लाइक इफ आई वॉन्ट टू सेंड अ मेल विद द हेल्प ऑफ पाइथन देन वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दैट मॉड्यूल ई मेल ट्रांसफर एस एम टी पी मॉड्यूल सो वट इज द फुल फॉर्म एस एम टी पी मॉड्यूल एस एम टी पी वट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ एस एम टी पी दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो सो द बेसिक फुल फॉर्म ऑफ दैट एस एम टी पी मॉड्यूल इज सिंपल मेल ट्रांसफर प्रोटोकॉल ट्रांसफर प्रोटोकॉल सो दैट इज द यूज फुल फॉर्म ऑफ एस एम टी पी मॉड्यूल सो द अनदर थिंग इज दैट हाउ वी कैन यूज दैट एस एम टी पी मॉड्यूल सो बेसिकली फर्स्ट वी हैव टू इम्पोर्ट द डोमेन फॉर दैट मॉड्यूल लाइक फर्स्ट वी हैव टू इम्पोर्ट दैट मॉड्यूल एस एम टी पी सो वॉट इज द लाइक थिंग विच वी हैव टू इम्पोर्ट सो वी हैव टू इम्पोर्ट एस एम टी पी एल आई बी दिस इज द नेम ऑफ मॉड्यूल विच वी हैव टू इम्पोर्ट सो आई एम गोइंग टू इम्पोर्ट एस एम टी पी एल आई बी सो ऑल द लाइक सेंडिंग ऑल द प्रोसेस ऑफ सेंडिंग मेल लाइक ऑल द फाइल्स विच इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर सेंडिंग द मेल ऑल आर इंक्लूडेड इन दैट फोल्डर ओवर लाइक दैट मॉड्यूल ओवर इन दैट मॉड्यूल ऑल द फाइल्स आर लाइक इन स्टोर्ड इन दिस मॉड्यूल सो वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दिस मॉड्यूल ओवर यर फॉर बेसिकली प्रिंटिंग लाइक सेंडिंग अ मेल विद द हेल्प ऑफ पाइथन Now another thing is that what is the thing we are going to need in next step. In next step, we need to set a domain for sending mail, and then after we are going to make a server. So first we need to set a <coughs> like a domain for sending mail. So what is the domain domain which we are going to use over here? So simply I am going to create a uh, like variable SMT object. with the, in the name with the name of smt object and now i am going to simply use this module smtp lib dot smtp now we have to set a <coughs> domain so in my condition i am going to use dot gmail dot com uh, anyone wants to use dot hotmail dot com then he or she can use that part as itself so i am going to use dot gmail dot com so smtp dot gmail dot com that is the <coughs> like a main domain which we are going to use for sending mail like if i want to send a mail to dot gmail dot com then i am going to use that domain of gmail dot com and we need a like a protocol there is a tcp protocol for mod, uh, like uh, every mod, uh, separate domain name so for condition of gmail the smtp like a protocol is Five eight seven. For Hotmail, it may be different. It must be different. For Rediff uh, Mail, it must be different. For Yahoo, it must be different. So I am going to use that Gmail dot com. So for that Gmail, this protocol is five eighty seven. Now we need to make a server over here. Now the another step is to make a server. I am going to write hint itself. Here I have set a domain for sending mail. Set a domain. for sending mail so basically this is our domain and this is the protocol which we have used we may change <coughs> domain and tcp protocol both according to our need now the another thing is we have to make server to send mail so just create a server over here we are working on server part so <coughs> what is the thing which we can do here simply i am going to use smt object dot ehlo it is the <coughs> like derived form of hello which which has some new feature to use in python basically it is created to use <coughs> uh, because it uh, there are some more features which are added in that ehlo part it is a derived form of hello i'll just write in hint itself that it is a derived form of hello 
derived form of hello derived form of hello there are some of the <coughs> like files or some of the new features which are stored in that ehello part now what are the next thing which we have to do now we have to start our server we have simply created our server now we have to start our server so simply i am going to start the server smt obj dot start tls simply i am going to start our server over here now what is the login login credential which i want to send from which mail i want to send now i am want to send the mail from i am just writing over here smt object dot login so i am going to write here the login credential like if the mail is i study at the rate gmail dot com after that we need to add password over here like the password is one two three four five six seven eight now this is the password here so <clears throat> this is the login credential of the mail which from which i want to send mail like if i want to send mail to any of the student like i want to send a certificate so from which mail i want to send the certificate i want to send the certificate from istudy.gmail.com i want to send the certificate with the help of this mail and this is the our like password of that mail so simply i am going to write the hint over here like it is the mail of sender it is sender's address sender's address and password of that sender mail password of sender's mail sender's mail this is the thing <coughs> this is the sender's address like sender's email address and this is the password of sender's mail theek okay? <coughs> hai now we will continue with uh, now we will continue with uh, like uh, if i want to send mail to anyone <coughs> if i need to send the mail to some student like uh, uh, i want to send mail to abhishek let's say i want to send a mail to abhishek so what we have to do so simply i am going to create a <coughs> wait for a second i am just going to create a, uh, like use a send mail like which we have to send the mail so simply i am going to write smt object dot sending i am going to send a mail now so <coughs> from which mail i want to send first i am going to write the mail from which i want to send so if i want to send the mail with the help of that i study i study at the rate gmail dot com this is the mail email address which i am going to use to send mail now i have to write the mail of receivers like if abhishek is a receiver and i want to send a mail to abhishek so i am going to write the mail email address of abhishek itself so i am going to write abhishek at the rate gmail dot com. So I want to <coughs> first I have to add the mail of sender. This is the sender's mail. Sender's mail. And this is the receiver's mail. Receiver's mail. Now I have to write the message. What is the message which I want to send? So. <clears throat> simply i am going to write the subject what is the subject and what is the message so if let's say <coughs> subject is smtp check like i want to check the <coughs> smtp so i am going to write over here the subject is let's say subject in my case if the subject is like uh, i want to send the verification like if someone wants to get the verification from our side that uh, i have some su successfully completed the boot camp at i study so i am going to write uh, like uh, if i wants to just uh, anyone wants that uh, he is going to get the verification mail from our side so i am going to write verification verification mail that is the subject from our side so <clears throat> now i am going to use that part so basically this sign is used 
to print the mail in next line to printing in next line basically we can use that part so now i'm going to write the message what is the message so i'm going to write that hi abhishek have abhishek had successfully completed python bootcamp at i study bootcamp at i study so that is the message which i am going to write and simply close it with single comma yeah that was about sending mail so <clears throat> what is the thing which we have to do first i have to add the mail of senders like who is the sender i have to add the mail of sender then i am going to write the mail of receivers like receivers mail after that i am going to add subject so what is the subject so <clears throat> in my case the subject is verification mail like someone want verification verification from our side that i have successfully completed the boot camp at i study so i am going to write verification mail then this is the message this is the format of message that hi abhishek has successfully completed python boot camp at i study so that was about subject uh, like mail body so this is the body of mail <coughs> and now simply i am going to write in the next line <coughs> i am going to write smtp object dot quit dot quit now <coughs> once the mail is has sent it is simply uh, so uh, like the our uh, that terminal quit like the pro uh, like program ended at that particular time so this is the basic process of sending email with the help of smtp module so basically what are the thing which we have to do first we have to use that import first we have to import smtp module after that i am going to uh, set a domain so i am going to set a domain for that part like uh, i am going to use smtp gmail.com i want to send a mail to gmail then i am so simply going to use smtp.gmail and this is the tcp of gmail so now what is the next thing which we have to do now i am going to start our server simply i have created a server server of ehlo it is a derived form of hello and it is going to have some new features that is used in python now i am going to simply start our server over here after that i am going to add login credentials of sender address like i am the sender and i want to send mail to anyone so i am going to write my own email address and password over here now i am going to simply send mail so here i have firstly used added senders email and after that i am going to write receivers mail like the senders mail is like i am i want to send mail from i study and receivers mail is like i am the whom the person whom i want to send the mail that is receivers mail now i am going to write subject what is the subject the subject is verification mail if uh, there is a <coughs> like a report so uh, like if i want to send the result so i am going to send here the result hi he has passed or uh, like uh, got this rank in examination so in that condition i am going to use that part over here but this is the subject of verification mail like i someone wants to get verification mail from our side that he has successfully completed boot camp at i study so i am going to use that and after that simply smtp quit once the mail sent the terminal will be uh, the terminal is going to close so that is the use of smtp module so with the help of that smtp module we can do this part so that was about uh, like uh, email scripting so with the help of that smtp module we can simply do the script uh, uh, scripting part of that email so <clears throat> the another thing is uh, aws scripting how we can do aws scripting so simply i am going to <coughs> write over here yeah now i am going to deal with aws scripting how we can continue with aws scripting part aws scripting aws scripting so what are the required for aws scripting like if we want to confer, uh, configure boto module so <clears throat> what are the uh, like uh, pip uh, we want to uh, like we need to require uh, to download for doing that aws scripting 
सो देर आर सम पेप विच वी नीडेड टू डू द ए डब्ल्यू एस स्क्रिप्टिंग दैट इज फर्स्ट वन इज पिप इंस्टॉल बोटो थ्री लाइक आई एम जस्ट वर्किंग ऑन बैक एंड पार्ट लाइक डिप्लॉयमेंट पार्ट ऑफ एनी वेबसाइट एंड आई हैव जस्ट यूज जेंग ऑफ ओवर एयर सो एट दैट टाइम वी नीड ए डब्ल्यू एस स्क्रिप्टिंग पार्ट सो एट दैट टाइम वी मस्ट नो अबाउट दैट स्क्रिप्टिंग ऑफ ए डब्ल्यू एस सो दीज आर द मॉड्यूल्स विच वी मस्ट नीड ओवर एयर द फर्स्ट मॉड्यूल इज इंस्टॉल बोटो थ्री एंड अनदर वन इज पिप इंस्टॉल पिप इंस्टॉल ए डब्ल्यू एस सी एल आई दैट इज द क्लाइंट पार्ट ए डब्ल्यू एस सी एल आई दैट इज ए डब्ल्यू एस क्लाइंट पार्ट एंड आफ्टर दैट सिंपली आई एम गोइंग टू कन्फिगर ए डब्ल्यू एस सो सिंपली ए डब्ल्यू एस कन्फिगर सो सो दैट इज द पार्ट ऑफ ए डब्ल्यू एस स्क्रिप्टिंग सो दीज आर द थ्री मेन मॉड्यूल एंड दीज आर द थ्री मेन कमांड ऑफ ए डब्ल्यू एस स्क्रिप्टिंग सो हाउ वी कैन कंटिन्यू विथ दैट स्क्रिप्टिंग आई एल जस्ट गिव ए ओवर व्यू टू यू गाइज सो द बेसिक ओवर व्यू इज एज If I am just working on an AWS like deployment part, so what are the main thing which we needed in that condition? So the <coughs> once I am just going to get the access key ID, like first I am going to the first step is I am going to simply open AWS console. That is the step one. First I have to open AWS console in our Chrome, AWS console. and the second step is after that we simply <coughs> search for iam the second thing is simply we need to search for iam whenever i am going to like uh, in next boot camp i am going to take a boot camp on django then at that part i am going to show you the practical of that aws scripting how we can do aws scripting for current time i am going to give you a overview so in second step simply i am going to search for iam part after that uh, we need to add users in that condition we need to add user after that we need to like uh, check the type of access which are which type of access we are having here so <clears throat> it may be like programmatic access or aws management console first we need to uh, like first we need to add user after that we need to check for that access type so what are the type of access which we are having after that we need to attach existing policies attach policies we need to attach some policies over here after that we need to like uh, <coughs> admin, uh, give some administrator access in that iam we need to give some of the uh, admin, uh, like administrator access administrator access after that we need to just simply <coughs> save all these details because if uh, when we are working on some uh, terminal of accessing that key id then we need to use that part then <coughs> at that time we can just simply we don't have to uh, again and again open that console and we need to check so we need to save all these files over here so now with the help of that boto3 with the help of that boto ec2 module with the help of that boto module we will simply do that <coughs> cloud computing part and after that we will just do our deployment part with the help of that cloud computing we can simply create an instance and um, with the help of that instance we can launch and we can do the back end part so that was the overview about scripting so now i am going to show you the installation steps of uh, pycharm so because we are going to use pycharm in our project so simply i am going to show the installation steps of pycharm i'll just attach this uh, the link of that uh, <coughs> notebook itself in the youtube so don't worry for that i'll share this part itself so first we need to use uh, pycharm for our next project which is going to be used tomorrow in tomorrow session so how we can download pycharm so if uh, there are any mac user and if uh, he or she wants to use pycharm so the best thing is that simply anyone is going to get the, uh, like download that jetbin toolbox and in jetbin toolbox there are some different types of some different types of uh, uh, like uh, pro, uh, uh, softwares given by jetbins 
like this these are android studio intellij idea and pycharm itself in, is there added and these are the softwares which they can use with the help of simply that jetwin tools otherwise if he or she wants to install it properly from google then simply anyone is going to just write download pycharm and simply write download pycharm in google chrome and just open that first one that jetwins.com just open the this link and simply just click on that download for community version if you are going to download for that professional then after free trial it is going to be uh, like we, you have to purchase this part so simply just go for that community version <coughs> simply download simply click on download and it, it is going to start downloading so i have downloaded so i am not going to download it but i am going to show you the installation steps so if anyone is mac user so simply he or she can download it for mac and if there is any linux user then he uh, they can also use that part so now i'm going to show you the installation steps yeah so this is the pycharm installed on our my computer so i'm simply going to open it just open the pycharm if there is any mac user then it is going to ask for that part like it is simply going to <coughs> send in that application part so just skip that part it doesn't need it always and simply open it it is going to ask for some security reason so simply open it it is going to take some time to open let's wait it's opening yeah it's open now <clears throat> so it is the welcome screen since i have used it for uh, previous time so it is not going to so ask me uh, like uh, so much thing if there is any uh, user who is uh, using it uh, for current time like first time then it is going to ask some of the things so don't worry for that simply click on next 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 and with the help of that default installation part you can install it if anyone is having any query like in, in installation so he or she can text me over whatsapp and uh, he or she is going to get the complete details of that part so simply click on new project i am going to uh, show you the some of the scripting like modules uh, like uh, i have simply run a, a, like read about os library or time module so i am going to use that module so simply just create simply create a python file over here and i am going to create a python file like i have just uh, opened a, a folder over here and with the help of that main file i am going to create some of the folders over here so just delete all this part yeah it's a scanning indexes so wait for some time to complete its process these are the backend tasks which is uh, doing its uh, which is the software is doing alternatively so don't worry for that so <clears throat> currently i am going to use that uh, os libraries we have just learned about that os library so simply <clears throat> first thing is that i am going to import that os library first we have to import the os library now what is the second thing which we have to do the second thing is we have to create a function so simply we need to create a function for printing the current directory we have uh, studied about that uh, part over here os library first we have imported os library now we have simply created a function over here so the next step is we have to create a <coughs> like a function of with the name of current directory so i'm i'm just going to create a function here def simply i'm going to define a function current directory now this is the function which i have created now in next step what we have to do in next step simply i have to create a variable now in that variable i am going to <coughs> with the help of that variable i am going to simply uh, i want i want to print the current directory like in which directory and it at which place our uh, like folder is available and in which file i am working on so simply i am going to create a file uh, like a variable and uh, there i am going to give us a path os dot get cwd so with the help of that get cwd i am going to uh, print that <coughs> uh, like a path of this file so what is the path of this python project like where is this folder 
and how we can simply call this folder so now i'm going to print that cwd which we have created i've created a, that uh, <coughs> like uh, i have created this variable and simply i'm going to print this variable after that what is the next step the next step is simply i'm going to call this function which we have created so simply i'm going to call current directory over here yeah that's all so i'm going to run the program yeah it is going to show me the exact like path where is the folder so the folder is user abhishek gautam desktop and python project let's open yeah so i am in the user part like uh, wait for a second yeah so i am in that user open in new tab so <clears throat> now in user where is the folder like uh, in abhishek gautam part in user that i have to go in abhishek gautam folder so i am simply going in abhishek gautam folder now we have to search for desktop so simply search for that desktop part so i am in desktop now now in desktop in python project i am in uh, like i am working on that python project part so just open that python project and see is there any main.py is there any file with, with the name of that main.py yeah so there is the file with the name of that main.py simply open it wait for a second it's opening and see is that the code which we have used over here is that the same code it's opening wait for a second it takes some time yeah so that is the code which we have used first we have imported that os now we have current uh, like uh, defined that function and uh, with the help of that uh, uh, variable we have simply created a variable and then simply we have called that variable and uh, <coughs> like print that variable and then we have called that variable so that is the thing which we have done so with the help of like this in this process with the help of this process we can simply print the like path of that python so if uh, i want to get the current <coughs> directory so we can use this uh, like we can continue with that part itself so that is the thing which we have done over here so for time we can simply go with, uh, with the same like uh, simply i'm going to import time uh, let's do it again like uh, wait for a second yeah so simply we have commented it the above part and now i'm going to use that time module so simply import time after that what is the next step which we have to do now i'm going to create a for <coughs> like uh, a variable with uh, for that time part time dot time after that what is the thing which we needed now we need to print that uh, variable which we have created so simply print that epic part <clears throat> now we want the time to uh, in that uh, current, like local like a uh, folder that uh, i want the time in that local part like uh, <coughs> uh, it is going to show in that type uh, like uh, the current time second it is going to show in that time of uh, like current this format 849 in and the second like 00000 in this form 000000 in that our form if i want to print it in that form then how we can do so simply <coughs> for that i am going to print local format print local format local simply i am going to print the local time format after that what is the thing which we have to do i am simply going to print that uh, with the help of the time year or like time dot c time dot epic so we can simply do <coughs> that with the help of that local time i want to print the year so simply i am going to write time here so with the help of this program i want to do i uh, we can continue or the another thing is that we can simply use that time dot time part itself like time dot c time and then simply i'm going to call that variable which we have created over here and simply i'm going to run it it is going to show us the exact time so the exact time is 20 
लाइक एट फिफ्टी फिफ्टीन सेकेंड द ईयर इज ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एंड टूडे इज सिक्सटीन फैब एंड डे इज वेडनेसडे सो डैट इज द प्रॉपर टाइम सो इट इज इन सेकेंड दिस टाइम इज टोटल इन सेकेंड बिकॉज सी टाइम इज बेसिकली यूज टू प्रिंट टाइम इन सेकेंड एंड देन Uh, here we have created epic with the help of that epic i am going to get that time in that second part and after that with the help of that c time we have simply printed the whole format that uh, there is uh, like today is 16th fab and the day is wednesday and <coughs> simply this is the time 8:50 and second is 15 so simply run it again and see is it going to be changed yeah it's changing 8:51 3 second If I am going to run it again, it is going to be changed. Eight fifty one ten second. So that was about the time module. So today, to, uh, now I am going to end our session for today. And tomorrow we will continue from uh, with the help of like uh, I am going to work on a project with the help of uh, uh, like we are going to use some GUI part. I am going to create a GUI project tomorrow. And after that, I am just going to schedule a session for like Django in future. and then i'm just going to connect connect uh, like that gui project with backend part with the help of django so i'm going to end our session over here thank you so much